Hello, my name is Kerry Arthur, and today we're just going to have a little chat about what could possibly, possibly be a new Horus Heresy starter box. Now, I know what you're thinking already, you're getting massively excited, you can't believe it, it's been god knows how long since Burning of Prospero, this is something that's needed, has been asked for for so long, hell, even on this channel, every single time we bring up the Horus Heresy, I'm like, where's the new box? What are you playing at? Come on, let's have it. This kind of looks like it is that. So these pictures showed up, I believe, on Facebook like uh, about an hour and a half ago. I was really holding out for some confirmation. I've been emailing people and trying to find out what's what. I was kind of hoping that uh, the, the Warhammer community site would have a post saying, hey, this is, this is a real thing. I was going to wait until we knew for sure. But I've already seen, I've already seen a couple of things that make me a bit concerned that people might be getting the wrong idea or getting overly excited and letting their kind of uh, their imaginations run wild when it comes to things like price, when it comes to things like content. So let's have a look at these pictures. So clearly, what we've got here is a Contemptor Dreadnought with a different loadout to the current Plastic Contemptor. So you can clearly see that there's still a bit of like a stiff monopose going on here. It's not in a particularly dynamic pose. It does have an auto cannon, and it also has a missile launcher on the carapace. It is totally lacking, though, in that kind of scroll work that goes across the front of the current Contemptor, which we can see right here. So, as you can see, that's got the scroll work. That's got little decoration pads on the on like the knee pads and stuff, and the auto cannon is not an option for for this one. So, that looks to be a new Contemptor. If this is a starter box, you would assume also in plastic. There's also what looks to be Mark VI Marines in this kit as well. Now, these are a little bit different to the ones that we can currently see on Forge World, uh, which I have tried to get to to get an example of, by the way. But for some reason, Forge World is just timing out for me, which is a bit of a pain. But essentially, the backpacks on these look to be new. They're not the ones that are on the current Mark VI Resin Marines on Forge World. They are also a little bit taller. So that suggests new sculpts, again, most likely plastic. That would make sense for what these are. Um, yeah, I mean, there's also the difference in the feet as well. So these have got like kind of segmented sections on the top of the feet instead of being smooth. And on some of the wrist guards, you can see instead of it being a like a smooth kind of van brace, instead there's like a like a kind of edge to it as well. It could just be slightly revised parts of the armor, but they look. They look decent, and they do look a little bit taller. More kind of, not fully true scale, but just that little bit, a little bit bulkier. As in, we can see as well in the back that there are some Cataphracty Terminators as well. Now, if we're going off what we've seen before for starter sets, it could be safe to assume that this might have the same kind of uh, ratio, the same kind of contents as Betrayal at Kalth. So you've got, you've got your Dreadnought, You've got your you've got your, your tactical marines, you've got your, your legion marines, you've got your cataphracty terminators, and you've got two heroes. Now this this picture is obviously massively potato cam. Can't make out anything. It's definitely it's definitely either some kind of marketing material or I guess battle report. The thing that is giving it kind of away as possibly being something to do with a box is down in the bottom left there is something that says what looks like something not included. I'm assuming that says scenery. It looks like the last letter is a bit longer than the other, so that would make sense. So we can see from this kind of wide shot that you've probably got 20 Marines on one side, plus Contemptor and HQ, 10 Marines, 5 Cataphracty, and, a, uh, and another HQ on the other side. And there is an extra interesting detail for this. Although actually, looking at that, looking at this picture, there is something that is a little bit confusing to me, because you can kind of see the silhouette of the Cataphracty Terminators up the top there, in front of the Spartan. We'll get to the Spartan in a second. Now, you can see up the top there, you can see the silhouette of the cataphracty. It's kind of, it's fairly easily identifiable when you know what you're looking for. Essentially, you're looking for three, three kind of uh, light sections on the top of the armour. And we can see that there's, you know, the ones that are more clearly in focus towards the front. Focus being used in a very loose sense of the word. Um, and then there's a few more off to the side. I suspect that the bits, like, well in the back that almost look like they could be even more Cataphracty Terminators, I suspect that those are most likely just bits of scenery that have been scattered around, or they could be the rest of the uh, of the Marines that have kind of angled up a bit towards the back of the picture. I've seen already a few people going, are we going to get, like, a ton of Terminators in this? I don't necessarily think that that's the case. 
It's a possibility, but I'd suggest that maybe what we've got is a line of five cataphracte, and then there's just some scenery in the back and other space marines that are kind of giving the indication as there being more, when actually there probably isn't. Now, onto the uh, onto the Spartan. So that is definitely a Spartan. Um, I have no idea whether this would be a plastic Spartan or not. It would be lovely if it was. It'd be amazing if it was. I would not complain for an instant if that was the case. I would suggest that whilst it would be really, really nice if this was in fact a plastic Spartan, right now the, the picture quality is so it's so shoddy that it's difficult to tell whether that would be the case or not. Um, there's been lots of rumours floating around for Forge World in terms of like uh, moving over to plastic production and all of that stuff, so it could be argued, well, actually, yeah, it would make sense for them to do it, and I do agree with that argument, it would make sense for them to do it, uh, but... Whether that is in fact a, a plastic Spartan that is involved in the box itself, or whether indeed it is just something that's in the promotional picture and there'll be something to say that this is not included, I don't know. I honestly don't. I wouldn't like to make the call either way. I know what I'd love it to be, and I would love it to be a plastic Spartan. I mean, I've put together the, uh, the Typhon Heavy Siege tank, and that is basically the same sort of chassis as the Spartan, and I really like the, the just, I really like that model as a whole. So it would be nice, but I would, I would say let's wait and see, particularly on that specific model. The rest looks, I mean, it looks pretty legit for being a new starter set. Uh, when you look at the Marines, at first it was like, well, okay, maybe there's some just a lot of kit bashing and converting going on here. Maybe it could be a battle report of some kind, and that is still true. That's still possible. But there are there are parts of these models that just don't match up in terms of kind of wide scale conversions and kit bashes. The helmets look to be slightly different from the Forge World versions. The backpacks are most definitely different from the Forge World versions. They are completely new. I can't think of another model that has that specific backpack. And the details on the feet and such that are repeated onto the other side. Like, you can clearly see... Well, I'll say clearly. Bit of an exaggeration. You can see that there are, you know, Marines of a similar or the same mark of armour on the other side. So, I mean, to me... To me, this looks very much like it could well be new Horus Heresy starter set. And then finally, we've got a little bit of uh, close-up. Thanks to Leaky Cheese for cropping this out. Um, and we've got, you know, uh, what looks like Volkite going on there, which is nice. Um, so some sort of hero slash HQ slash possibly named character going on there as well. So yeah, that is the, that's the deal. That's what we've got. Um, I'm throwing it to you guys because I've already seen a few. <laughs> I've already seen... Some very hopeful things, kind of massively exaggerating the the number of uh, the number of models that might be in the kit. Kind of definitive statements as yes, this is absolutely a plastic whatever. And as always, these are going to spread no matter what I do. But as always, it's worth it's worth holding out a little bit of uh, a little bit of skepticism just until we know the full story and can see the full picture, not in potato cam. I'm relatively convinced, I'm fairly convinced, but then again, we don't know just yet, we just need to wait and find out, but if this is the contents of a new starter set, including a plastic Spartan, I'm of course massively excited, especially since I've committed to starting Word Bearers and I've seen Argyle tell, <laughs> oh dear, my wallet weeps, but yeah, there you go, take a look at them, see what you think, leave your comments down in the comments section below, obviously that's where they go, what do you reckon this is, does it make sense to be a new starter set, do you think it might be something else? Let me know what you think in the comments. In the meantime, feel free to click all the things, Patreon, video, subscribe, all that stuff. Click it if you like, don't click if you don't want to. And as always, there's an affiliate link for Element Games in the description, which you can use to support the channel if you'd like. I'll leave it in your capable hands. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.